Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and today in this video I am going to show you how you can uh, design this type of tool uh, on SOLIDWORKS sheet metal uh, for your CNC plasma or laser cutting. And uh, this uh, project also includes some bending works. So at the end I will also tell you how you can um, make the DXF files out of it for uh, the plasma cutting. So keep watching this video till end and if you want to download this file then I will leave the download link in the description of this video. And if you want to video in Urdu, then the video ka link in the description. Mein hai. Okay, let, let's get started. First of all, start from a new part and then draw a sketch on front plane by using line like this. Make this line horizontal. Then select origin and this line and make their midpoint relation like this. Then select both these lines and make them equal. Now define this width which is 12 inch and this width is 6 inch. Now go to sheet metal tab and from here select base flange tab and uh, uh, if you can see this is the sheet thickness and uh, this is the direction of thickness of the sheet let me show you uh, if you check this box what happens so this is how it works now um, in the direction one type here the extrusion length also 12 inch and uh, then drop down this menu and from here select mid plane and then press ok button now uh, click on this face and then sketch on it press ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard uh, for normal to be orientation now draw a, uh, a rectangle like this then draw a center line and start it from origin up to this center point or midpoint select this center line and make it vertical now define uh, this distance which is 2 inch and also this distance which is 2 inch now select the uh, fillet sketch fillet command from here and the fillet radius is 6 0 select this corner and this corner then press ok button again press ok button now go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command cut it from uh, throughout this part press ok button now uh, what we have to do uh, go to sheet metal tab once again and then select edge flange command then select this edge and specify the direction type here the length of the flange which is also 2 inch and uh, one thing which you have to remember is that uh, in corner treatment you have to select bend outside by default it will be selected uh, bend inside I think material inside but you have to select bend outside and then press ok button after that go to features tab and from here select fillet command select this corner and fillet radius is 20 then press ok button now uh, select this uh, flange and then select edit sketch press ctrl plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and then click and drag this point like this now define this width which is 2 inch and also define this distance which is also 2 inch then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now uh, go to features tab and from here select mirror command and uh, then drop down uh, this feature tree and from here select front plane as a mirror face or plane and then select this flange as a uh, features to mim uh, mirror and also select this fillet and press ok button once again click on mirror command and uh, this time select right plane and then select this mirror one and then press ok button 
Now what we have to do, uh, we have to go to sheet matter tab once again and then select edge flange then select this edge and specify the direction and uh, this time uh, we also have to select uh, the or type here the uh, width of the flange which is 2 inch and also make sure the bend is outside so here if you can see then uh, click on ok button and uh, it is showing an error so I have to remove this error first so for that click on this flange and then select edit sketch press ctrl plus 8 key uh, for normal to view orientation and then drag this point like this and also this point like this and then draw a center line start drawing it from this midpoint up to this midpoint and then make this center line vertical now define the distance between this flange and this flange uh, let's say uh, 1 mm 1 millimeter also define this height 2 inch now click on this button to save and exit from sketch mode so our error has been removed now uh, what we have to do once again we have to apply some fillets so click fillet command from features tab and then select this corner fillet radius is 20 this corner also both these corners then press ok button one more thing uh, go to features tab once again and from here select mirror command and then drop down this feature tree and select uh, the front plane and then select this flange and press ok button ok now uh, we have to make some uh, extrude cut on this top side so for that click on this face and then select sketch press ctrl plus 8 key so now draw a circle in the origin define the diameter of the circle which is uh, 30 millimeter and then go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command and then press ok button once again select this face and sketch on it and this time draw a sketch by using straight slot like this define the diameter uh, radius or diameter of um, this load so this radius is 15 diameter is 30 millimeter then define this width which is 65 millimeter and uh, distance from origin to the midpoint or um, center of this uh, this arc is 50 millimeter press ok button and then go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command press ok button now in the features tab click on this arrow below the linear pattern then select circular pattern click on this direction one box and then select this circle and from uh, or click on this box features and faces select this slot uh, quantity is 6 then press ok button once again click on this face and then select sketch press ctrl plus 8 key and then draw a 3 point arc like this click on this arc and make it for construction geometry then select this arc and this circle make them concentric now draw a polygon here like this then draw a center line from origin up to this point and this point like this now click on this center line and this center line make them collinear now define the diameter of this polygon 30 millimeter press escape key now um, 
go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command then press ok button once again uh, use circular pattern command and uh, then in the direction one select this circle and uh, in the features and faces select this polygon quantity is 6 then press ok button ok now our tool is ready for manufacturing but before that uh, the making dxf files of this tool I have to make some markings on uh, these edges for um, ease in uh, during the uh, bending works so for that go to sheet metal and then uh, click on unfold select this face and then click on this button collect all bands and then press ok button so now um, click on this face and then sketch on it press ctrl plus 8 key for normal to be orientation now here one common sense which is that it is easy to identify the bands uh, these bands but uh, it will be difficult to identify these bands so um, for that uh, we have to um, add the markings here and uh, for that uh, what I usually do uh, in my case I draw triangles like this by using line command and uh, select this line and make it for construction geometry and then select this line and this line make them equal after that define this width which is 3 millimeters and then select all this sketch and press ctrl plus c for copy after that click from uh, uh, this midpoint and drag it on this midpoint similarly paste that sketch here and drag it on this midpoint now um, draw a center line here and then use mirror entities command and select all these um, uh, triangles and then select this box mirror about and select this line press ok button go to features tab and from here select uh, extruded cut command and then press ok button so uh, you will get the sheet like this by making these cuts I think it will be easy and uh, time saving to manufacture or uh, bend this type of sheets and now uh, what I have to do go to sheet metal tab once again and then select fold and then select collect all bands and press ok button now uh, click on flatten pattern here select this face and then select normal to now uh, click on this arrow in front of save button and then select save as from here select dxf name the part and then save it so um, finally you will get the dxf file for uh, uh, cnc plasma or laser cutting I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. Thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for more videos like this.